we're gonna do a makeup and chat. Look, I got my little holiday gingerbread man on. Is my face moisturized enough? Sure. Um, I thought I'd talk about narcissists. Of course, what else would we talk about? Happy holidays. They come out with a vengeance. First, we're gonna use our Dermatology. This is a universal tint and moisturizer that can match anyone's face. I can only vouch for my own color face, but that is the claim. It went viral on TikTok. I got it, I love it. You'll see it leaves like a kind of glowy do if you're not into that. It's not like sparkly. It's not like I'm gonna be like a weird vampire running around. What was that movie? Put it in the comments. Um, anyway, I'll show you the consistency. And we wanna chat just about kind of preparing for the holidays. First of all, I wanna like scream this from the mountaintops. I know there's like family time and a lot of drama and you have to deal with people that you don't typically maybe have to see and they're obnoxious or they treat you like poo poo magoo goo. I always say no one has permission to treat you like crap, not even family. This is where we get a little twisted. You know, I'm from a very Italian old school family that I was brought up La Familia Prima, Prima Familia, right? Family first. That's cool if they're not abusive assholes, right? There's that. So I was conditioned to feel like no matter what, I have to put up with some real crap, right? It's one thing if people are a little quirky or I'm going to get my... Bobby Brown brush here. I'm um, Marc Jacobs. Same difference. I love this thing. Whatever it is, I love it. Um, so see, there's like a little dewy do. Let me see if I can put this light on. Um, but there's a difference between people having their quirks or being kind of annoying or whatever, right? We all got our stuff. Every single one of us. No one's perfect. We're not above anyone else, blah, blah, blah. However, I'm talking about when people mistreat you or use abusive language, name call, all that stuff. Sometimes people try to cover it with being funny, but if it's a pattern, I'm big on patterns. If it's a pattern and you don't like it, you get to set your boundaries, you get to speak up, you get to remove yourself from a situation if it is not comfortable. I actually did that even as a teenager. Um, and some people say, oh, well, it's generational, but my grandfather, Definitely had some generational stuff where he would uh, definitely say some interesting things. And we all laughed it off and whatever. Oh, that's just, that's just grandpa, you know. But I won't go into details, but he said something that was way past my line. And I think I was only like 15. Um, and it was a word that I did not tolerate. And I got up and removed myself from his house. That's a real thing. That's a real thing. Fierce Christie was fierce even at 15. Um, it didn't go over well. Blah, blah, blah. But I look at that moment in my life and I'm very proud of that moment and of that girl. Because then, even as I got older, there's certain people that you may be afraid to have that with, right? Maybe you are physically or emotionally abused by someone consistently that you live with growing up and it was hard for you to voice yourself. So you, this can play out later in your life where it's like, oh, my voice doesn't matter, right? A lot of people that put up with abusive situations or relationships later in life have come from family situations where they didn't um, get the best treatment. This is Hourglass last year's edition. They have more out this year, but Oh, I didn't put primer on my eyelid. Oh, well, there we go. I'm kind of in a rush because I have a lot to do today. I have a call. Um, and I also, I'm doing a course. I'm getting a certification and I'm trying to plow through this week, early this week, because, you know, we are having some fun Christmas festivities at the end of the week. So I want to not have like work stuff, school work hanging over my head. All right, so that was just, oh, I didn't even show you what that was. It's actually not even an eyeshadow, but I love it for eyeshadow. So pretty, sometimes I'll add the pink in there. I did get this, maybe we'll do an extra color. This is Smoke and Roses. It's, let's blend something else. So pretty. These are not like my favorite. I talked about them in my last live. This is not a live, this is pre-recorded. 
Um, I'm just going to do, no, I'm going to go for this guy again. I feel like, I'm feeling like Christmas vibes. Look at me, I'm almost like red and green here. It's maroon, but we'll count it as red. Um, so anyway, I, my biggest message is don't tolerate crap from anyone this holiday season. <laughs> I don't care who they are. I really don't. It's not okay. Just because someone shares blood with you doesn't mean you have to put up with it. It really doesn't. Set your boundaries. I have a whole course on boundaries. Um, if you're watching on Instagram, it's in my profile link. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not, if not, um, go find me on Instagram. It's Fierce Christy Jade, C-H-R-I-S-T-Y. And um, message me. I will give you 10% off if you're watching this. 10% off my boundaries course. How's that? I love throwing in a little holiday cheer. A little holiday VIP status break. All right, that's the extent of what I'm doing with eyeshadow today. Um, what? Where's my liquid liner? Hello? Oh, there it is. There she is. This is Maybelline Line Stiletto. Yeah, I like this stuff. I've been using it for years. How about this top? I got on TikTok. It, I don't, I don't know. And I met, I put this, this little, I look really like hippie. I don't know about this necklace. I don't know about the whole, the whole vibe, but I love the color. I love that it's velour, velvet, velour, whatever. If you don't know me, if you don't know me by now. No, if you don't know, I am obsessed with velvet. That Like half my freaking furniture downstairs is velvet. I love velvet. I have a teal velvet couch, a blue velvet chair, a sage green, like what's it called? Um, chaise lounge. Got all sorts of velvet deliciousness down there. Okay, so I want the message today to be, expect them to come out too. Like, narcissists can get almost like triggered by holidays. It's a long story why. I think it's in my podcast from last week or the week before. They get triggered. They come out with a vengeance. And we don't have to take that bait. We don't have to be a part of that. Like, we have choices. If you're in an abusive situation where you feel like you do not have a choice, uh, please contact the domestic violence hotline because you should not be living in a way that you don't feel safe and they can help you. You don't have to do anything when you call, right? It can just be talking. You can see if you can devise a plan to get out of a situation. That is not my specialty. I hand that over to the experts dealing with that. Um, I really deal with how to create boundaries, especially with people, maybe family members or whatever. And I also deal with healing from narcissistic abuse. So if you went through childhood abuse, um, or you just, you even had a relationship later in life and you're out of it. I have a lot of clients, mo I would say most of my clients, it seems, are people who were in romantic relationships and need healing or people even dealing with co-parenting with a narcissist. That's another one that I do help people with because uh, they're tricky. They're good at what they do, but... Once you really understand them, it's not as unpredictable, depending on the narcissist, it's not as unpredictable as you might think. And they're always, they're the same in the way of they're always trying to get control or take back control, right? Like that is basically their mission. And they're attention seekers, of course, but we, we usually all know that. This is, um, by the way, Benefit Bad Gal Bang. Boom. ba -doo. Yeah, it is. I like it. It's hard to get off, though. What's your favorite eye makeup remover? Ooh, I just got literally in my eye. I need an eye makeup remover that I like. I, I use the Neutrogena wipes. They're okay. I had to, I had to downgrade to the sensitive ones. Because, I don't know, my skin all of a sudden started getting irritated. Mm, what we're doing on our cheekies. I want to do something different. Hmm, I don't really have like, I don't 
have a good amount of blush. I have three there, and then in here. I guess I could use that one again. I did like that. This color right here. It's a good winter, fall, winter, colder weather color. Boom! So what are you guys, if you are celebrating, if you're Christian, if you're celebrating Christmas, what are you doing? If not, did you celebrate Hanukkah? Tell me all the things. Ooh, clown coming out, but we always cover with powder. Don't fret, my pet. I feel like I want to put a little bronzy on too. Let's do a little bronzy. I'm getting, I'm getting pale. Winter brings a paler Christy. Um, so like I said, we have these fun festivities, um, Starting Thursday, well, we're going to go see the lights tonight or tomorrow. Like, there's, like, a drive-around light thing um, right near us, like, 10 minutes up the street. And then, this is Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, by the way, in the shade medium, I think. Shade 2, medium, yeah. Um, so, that'll be fun. And then we're going to this place. It's called the National Harbor, and there's, like, ice sculptures. It's, like, a theme thing. It's so and but there's like a whole bunch more I will take video and I will post it on YouTube because that would be fun it's more of like I I think it's gonna be a visual thing rather than me talking about it this is by the way a luminizer so pretty let me see if I can see just like a very subtle luminizer boom love it for my dry nasty skin this is RMS Beauty she used to do makeup for something for, uh, she's old, an older woman, for the um, Victoria's Secret models. Um, she worked for them, I think. Living Luminizer, it's called. And I'm living for it. Oh, yes, I love it. I need to luminize because my skin gets so freaking dry in the cold weather. <sighs> I should do my hair, but I'm not going to. Is it good enough? You're good enough. I feel like it's just flat on the top. I have kind of thin hair. When I curl it, it gets bouncier. I might cut it. I was thinking about cutting it, but you know, like you have stupid rules in your head, like it's winter, I should leave it long. Like what? What kind of rule follower are you, Christy? Not one, why am I listening to weird rules? I kind of want it like there. I'm just sick of it being long. So I think I probably will. I'm gonna go get it redone, like um, some, Put some highlights in it. I'm going to do the opposite of what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to do some more blonde in the winter and shorter. I'm feeling summer vibes early. So anyway, um, I hope you all have a beautiful holiday season. I don't know if I'll be back or not. But I want to be doing more videos this year. So I'm kind of ramping up. And I don't know why I'm doing that. But how, are we feeling this shirt? I mean, the color just has me. And like the texture. I don't know. It's like given off like I love it vibes and then it's also like did my mom get this at Chico's? Do you know about Chico's? But it, I don't know. What happens on TikTok stays on TikTok. I'm not feeling this with it. I feel like too like, bo not, not like boho anything wrong with it. It's just not my total vibe here. Sometimes I ha get in like hippie-ish moods. Today's not the day and this I feel gives it, makes me feel like an artsy Chico, my mom. I feel like my mom. Love you, mom. Okay. Um, I think that's it. There's. Oh, I didn't do powder. Hold on, let's seal the deal. Which one? We're going to go for Charlotte Tilbury's powder. Boom. Shakalaka, that's in also two medium. It's weird because I'm pretty pale, but um, I ordered this one. I never tried the lighter one. This one, I, I think I got it when it was um, summertime, so it matched. Now it's like slightly dark, but who cares? Obviously, I don't. I'm going to still use it. It's a very finely milled one, which is what I love about it. So it's not like it doesn't make me look like an Oompa Loompa or anything from being too dark. It's just a little. There it is. Say bye to the gingerbreads. Aren't they? They're just fresh. Freshy. I got some candy canes too. Oh, I wish downstairs. I'll just have to post this stuff on Instagram too. So come follow me there. Okay. Fierce Christy Jade. That's me. Fierce Christy Jade. Um, 
I have a Nutcracker. Again, I've been, I shopped on TikTok last week for Christmas excitement, but it's like a bright pink sweatshirt with three Nutcrackers and it's the cutest. It's the cutest with the bluest. That's not, oh, my lips. <laughs> I'm a mess, Hot Mess Express. Okay, this is uh, my baby. If you don't have this, go get it. Unless you have like a really good plumper that you use. I don't like really plumping my lips. I'm not that serious about it. This is called Lawless and it just hydrates enough. It's not like a plumper where you feel all tingly. I don't like that. That like wigs me out. I used to use Too Faced Lip Injection when I was like in my 20s when that first came out. Now I just don't like that sensation. But I love this stuff. And then what are we going to do? I'm just going to do a little wash of color with this e.l.f. This has been like one of my go-tos. It's not really a wintry color, but I'm feeling it. It is called Lovely Rav Ravissant in, unless, is, Ra is Ravissant lovely in another language? I don't know. But it is e.l.f., super cheap. And look out the little heart. It makes me happy every time I use it. Oh. But seriously, this got, this is really good for, for everything now on um, if you have like if you're dry like mama okay there I'll just say it again mama's dry oh that's a pretty wash of color not very um wintry I just ordered from Ravi R-A-V-I-E I'm so excited to unbox that I will unbox that on here I have a feeling that stuff's going to be amazing, and it's supposed to be really good, again, for, like, like juicy-looking lips. I want to be juicy. <laughs> Keep your private life to yourself, lady. All right, that's it. I've got to go. I get hot on here. I have the lights blaring, and I'm in this velvet shirt. I feel like I'm falling apart. Um, but I'm going to go do what I'm going to do, do my schoolwork intensely, and then have my coaching call, then i got to pick up. My daughter from school, better to see you with. I just did a, um, we have like five goodbyes if you don't know me. We have five goodbyes here whenever I try to say bye, I keep talking. Um, on Instagram, there was like an audio. Go check it out. Just go look at it. I did, it's got me with glasses. It's from yesterday, I think. It's, it's funny. I love, I love a good, no, yeah, Instagram. Instagram audio that makes me giggle, especially when it's like empowering or like, like a mic drop moment. I love them. All right. Put your deuces up. Say hi in the comments. Like I need to feel you. <laughs> so creepy. No, I want you to say hi. So I know you're there. I see all these people watching and I, I don't know who you are. So I want to know you. Let's get to know each other. All right. Smooches and deuces and all that good stuff. I will see you in the next video. Bye.